Hi, my name is Heidi Richards. I am a lecturer at the School of Chemistry at Wits University. The physical sciences broadly describes the disciplines taught by chemistry and physics. Both departments carry out cutting-edge research and are involved in extensive international collaborations. Your undergraduate education in these schools will prepare you to join in with the international community in a competitive manner. Referred to at times as the central science, chemistry forms a linking point for multiple degrees. It is a prerequisite subject for life sciences, geology, material science, and essential if looking to either engineering or medicine through a BSc. Physics too can open up options for multiple degrees and multiple careers. These can range from astronomy to nuclear sciences, from energy production to fundamental understanding of the universe. Physicists are also highly sought after in the world of finance and analysis for the ability to analyze numerical data. In this brief video, we will introduce some of your many options for degrees with chemistry and physics. If you require more information, please feel free to contact the School of Chemistry or the School of Physics or click on the links on the video to visit our web pages. The usual route is to obtain a three-year BSc in Physics as a major. You would have to take other subjects to meet the degree requirements. Each of these is taught on the diagonal system and you will need to select subjects that can match your timetable. How you construct your second and third year can be decided as your degree progresses, but choosing the subjects at first year will dictate what your options are later on. You will require mathematics to at least second year level. If your interest lies in fundamental theoretical physics, you may wish to continue this to third year as well. But for first year, it is essential that you take and successfully pass Mathematics 1 major. Computer science, computational and applied maths are good partner subjects. These subjects will align your learning in complementary ways. Adding chemistry opens the route to material science, while adding geology adds the route to geophysics. It is also possible to complete a dual physics and chemistry BSc which gives you the broadest possible undergraduate concentrated in the physical sciences. There are other subject combinations that are also possible, and you will need to consider these. You are also welcome to speak to the School of Physics. The course covers the fundamental concepts of classical physics and covers some modern physics topics. More specialized fields of contemporary physics, such as nuclear, atomic and condensed matter physics, are pursued in postgraduate study. Your education at undergraduate will prepare you to meet the challenges in studying in these areas. See more at the School of Physics website and feel free to contact the school to find out more information. To become a professional chemist, you require four years of full-time study. Therefore, you will have to complete a one-year BSc Honours after achieving your BSc. Many chemists choose to continue their studies to master's and doctoral level in order to join the field in a research capacity. But for some, the interest lies in working in industry or creating their own industry. And in this case, a BSc or BSc Honours can be sufficient. Chemistry will be your major subject. It is important to note that you will require at least Mathematics 1 Auxiliary to continue to Chemistry 2. However, it is recommended that you consider Mathematics 1 major to give you more scope for constructing your second year curriculum. You need to take two other majors. The choice of majors will dictate your future options. Be careful in selecting your other first year subjects that you give yourself options to pursue different fields of study at second and third year. For example, choosing chemistry and geography is perfect in first year, but these two cannot be completed simultaneously at the second year level. It is important to realize that in order to continue to second year chemistry, you are required to achieve a minimum percentage better than just a pass. There are many powerful combinations possible. Chemistry and applied chemistry for the chemical and allied industries. We are introducing Applied Chemistry 2 for the first time. This course will bring in industrial perspectives and prepare you for working as a chemist in industry. 
It will also expand on the theory being taught to a more practical perspective. Microbiology for the food, biotechnology and agricultural industries. Biochemistry for biotechnology and medical research. Please watch the videos or follow the link on the video if you want more information about these routes. Biology for work in the environmental field. Geology, to work as a geochemist in the mining and exploration industries. Physics, for work in material science. And there is more about this in the next slide. See more at the School of Chemistry website and feel free to contact the school through the website for more information. Chemistry is the host of two multidisciplinary fixed curricula. These curricula are designed to prepare you to meet a particular field with added perspective. Both of these curricula are unique in South Africa and will give you distinct advantages. Chemistry with chemical engineering. Chemical engineers traditionally receive only one year of chemistry. In this curriculum, you complete a full three-year BSc in chemistry. The advantage this gives you is the ability to work from the molecular to the process level and hence to act as a bridge between science and engineering scales. Due to the demanding nature of the degree, this program is only open to a limited number of candidates and you will typically need to have a 90% in mathematics and physical sciences from school as well as at least 80% for English. The program is also only open to first-time entrants from school. After three years, you obtain a BSc in chemistry. The subjects for this curriculum are fixed and cannot be varied as they include a selection of science and engineering topics. After a further two years, you obtain a BSc in Chemical Engineering. Material science has become an area of rapid growth in the 21st century and deals with the creation of new generations of materials. Evidence of the outputs of this discipline are all around us, from thinner and faster smartphones to artificial bone materials that could in future remove the need to wear a cast while a broken bone heals. You typically enter this degree at the second year level when you join into the fixed course selection. However, in order to prepare for it, you need to take chemistry major, physics major, and mathematics major at first year level. Your fourth first year subject is optional, but computer science, computational and applied mathematics or introductory life sciences are all good options. Choose material science with chemistry or choose material science with physics at your second year to dictate your focus in the material science world. These curricular options will be explained to you in detail when you begin your second year of study. See more about these fixed curricula at the school webpage by following the link on the video now or feel free to contact the School of Chemistry to learn more about the fixed curricula. The slides here are by no means a comprehensive list of everything that is available but it gives you an introduction. Please do contact Chemistry or Physics if you need more information, and we look forward to working with you on your journey into the world of the physical sciences.